We're here at Cliffside Field, just outside of Amarillo, Texas. The Amarillo Field Office supplies about 40% of the helium requirements in the United States and also about a third of the helium that's required throughout the world. We provide helium for all kinds of important strategic uses, not only for the United States, but also globally. Helium is limited quantity. We do supply that helium through third parties, through private industry. A helium program started in 1916, 1918, just about the end of World War I. The U.S. government decided it was a strategic resource and we need to safeguard it somewhat. The federal government had the foresight to determine an area where helium could be stored in the ground and could be later recovered. This is one of the four wells we injected into the dome in the early 60s. All these wells on this domes, they were constructed underground in cellars. It's a unique installation, different than the gas industry. We tried to do that to hide them from the Russian satellites back in the 60s. We have 24 wells which penetrate the geologic formation known as the Bush Dome. That's a geologic structure where the cap rock, the shale, and the natural gas and the helium are contained. And if you were looking at a cross section, you, you would see kind of a dome shape. Right now we are on top of the center of the dome. This dome sits on 13,000 acres of land. Visualize straws poking in around the structure of that dome. And they extract a mixture of natural gas and helium with some other gases like methane and nitrogen and some others. During the 1960s and 70s, about 37 billion cubic feet of helium were stored in the ground. Fast forward up to the 1990s, when all of a sudden there was all these new uses that were coming out for MRIs, for mixtures, for scuba diving, snorkeling, for welding. NASA started beginning to use some of that and all of a sudden a private industry started developing. And now we're at the point where we're taking that helium out of the ground and using it for all these beneficial uses. I'll walk you through the plant to show you the helium operation. The gas comes from the field from the natural gas building where we monitor that gas. It goes from there to the inlet scrubber and the coalescer. From that it goes to the enrichment unit to upgrade it to about 79%, 80% helium. This building has 19 wells. There's also four helium wells on the other side of the plant, but that also comes here and mixed with these wells. Then we combine all that gas in one header and we go to the enrichment unit. This is the gas analyzer, one of the gas analyzer that analyzes this gas coming from the field it takes 20 minutes for each well to analyze and the data is sent to the control room and the operator see live gas analysis all the time. We are right now in the operating room of the helium operation. This control room monitors 23 wells coming into the plant. We process approximately 24, 25 million cubic feet of total gas at 28% concentrated helium. We push it on the pipeline about 70 to 78% helium. And the lab here on site at Cliffside Gas Field is a very important part of our operations. The biggest part is, of course, taking care of the plant. They're responsible for going out and checking the product and the intermediary products and also the gas feeds that's coming into the plant to make sure that the plant is operating efficiently. Now in addition to that, this lab, which is the only gas lab in the federal government that is owned by the federal government, is very important because we collect other gas samples from out throughout the country. Wherever there is gas being processed or produced, there's a potential that it may contain helium. And this lab can do the analysis for that sample. We'll make sure that we know the methane content, know the other hydrocarbon content, the nitrogen, helium, carbon dioxide, and any other gases that may be of interest. Now we are at the feed compressors. All the gas come to this to push it up to about 600 pounds to the enrichment unit. We're looking at the launcher of the helium pipeline that starts from here, coming out from the enrichment unit, pumped by three Waukesha compressors, and goes all the way to Satanta, Kansas. The pipeline that was used to bring helium from Kansas, Oklahoma, and Nebraska to Amarillo Cliffside Field is now being used to produce that same helium, take it through our helium enrichment plant, 
uh, concentrated up to about 70, 75 percent helium and sent it back up that 450 mile pipeline to several plants that are refining it and making it available for commercial processes. We're the only place in the world that does this type of operation. It's fascinating.